Alright guys, what's up and welcome to continent number two. Uh, you see around me are some awesome looking buildings. Uh, we've got this one up here which is a museum. Um, I think this is, it's kind of funny, this one's like luxury stores even though this place used to be communist. And up in front of me is, I think that's the Kremlin. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm in Russia and um, the first thing I'm going to do is go over there and I can go and see Lenin but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to film oh, parade of school children <laughs> anyway let's go oh damn there's actually quite a massive line to go and see Lenin looks to be oh look it's Chinese tourists oh no <laughs> Alright guys, I'm all done um, looking at Lenin's mausoleum. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to film in there, so if you do want to see him, you'll have to come here yourself. But um, pretty much Lenin was the guy in Russia who started the revolution, and he was the reason that Russia became communist back in, I think it was 1917, just before the end of World War One, And he died in 1924, so... Uh, what is it 2018 he's been preserved in that place over there for almost a hundred years which is pretty crazy and apparently his body is like slowly disintegrating so I'm sure one day they'll have to um, you know bury him away for good so if you're interested in that sort of history and stuff make sure you come and see him um, but now I'm in front of this which isn't the Kremlin I was wrong it's called St. Basil's Cathedral and it was actually built in the 1500s, which is pretty impressive for a building that looks so beautiful and big like that. And it was built by Ivan the Terrible, who was another interesting um, Russian leader from back in the day. Pretty much, he's called Ivan the Terrible because he tortured heaps of people and killed heaps of people. Um, but that's all I, all I really know about him. And it looks like I can actually go inside of this cathedral, so... Let's uh, see if we can take a look inside. But yeah, look at that. Amazing, amazing building. Yeah, inside of St. Basil's Cathedral was very amazing. Um, it's filled with a lot of small rooms uh, with the walls painted with amazing depictions of Jesus and various saints and things like that. And... Um, the reason it was built by Ivan the Terrible was because he defeated the Kazan Khanate to the east of Russia at that time. And it was pretty much because of him that Russia became the biggest country in the world. As you know, um, Russia is the biggest country in the world at the moment. And it was pretty much started by this guy, Ivan the Terrible, who um, conquered the Kazans and then various Tsars... Um, after him conquered further and further east pretty much until they got to Vladivostok in the Pacific Ocean and the reason this guy was called Ivan the Terrible was because he was really ruthless he killed lots of his own people and he apparently even killed his own firstborn son as well as his firstborn son's unborn child so yeah pretty brutal guy but um, inside of this cathedral was absolutely epic and uh, they even had some monks singing inside the main hall which was very atmos atmosphere oh, <laughs> atmospheric guys what's up and welcome back to the tour um, now I'm outside of this thing and these walls and this place is the Kremlin not the place before that I showed you this is the real Kremlin Kremlin means um, fortress in Russian and it used to be where uh, the, the, the <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I need more sleep. The Tsar, the Tsar, who was like the king of Russia, he lived here. And then when Russia was communist, um, this is where like the parliament and the government was based. And now, uh, inside here is where Putin uh, runs his government out of. And if you um, are like the prime minister or the president of a country and you get invited to Russia, then you go here to meet Putin. Um, I did have to wait a while though. You see over there, there's a huge line to get in to this place. And um, pretty much most of the other tourists here are from China, like more than half of them, uh, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, let's go have a look inside and see what there is to see. And here we have a big ass cannon. Um, this was built for one of the, the oh my god, one of the SARS to uh, just sort of show how badass he was. And if you see, um, these are the balls that it would have shot. Here's my hand for comparison. And yeah, it's just a big ass cannon. And then over there is the Senate where the Russian government um, does their business. And then you'll see in front of me here, they call this area um, like the square of the four cathedrals, because you see here's one, two, and then round the corner, I think, are another two cathedrals, and they're all very beautiful. Yeah, and here we are in the middle of it all. So we got, as um, 21 Savage would say, I got one, two, three, four, cathedrals in my Kremlin. This one is less impressive, but I think they're like working on it or something. But yeah, they're all pretty cool. That one's got gold on the top. That one's got a cool painting of Mary and Jesus, I think. And that one's got a... I never know how to say that brand. Bulgari store, which is like a luxury clothes store. It's pretty weird to just be in the middle of all of this stuff, but oh well. <laughs> ah, cool, and it looks like you can actually go inside of this cathedral. And also this one over here. But as you see, here's one of those um, giant Chinese tourist groups I was talking about. So we'll go to this one. So that was pretty interesting. Inside there, you're not allowed to film inside, unfortunately, but they have all of um, the Romanov Tsars, oh, I said it right that time, buried underneath uh, this cathedral, including uh, Ivan the Terrible, his sons, all of them, except probably the last Tsar, because the communists burnt him. But um, yeah, really, really interesting. You can actually go in there and see their graves. Um, and they're literally un under the church, under the ground. So that was pretty cool. Oh, hello again. Um, I just finished up in another area of uh, the Kremlin, which is called the Kremlin Armory. And inside there, it's pretty amazing. They have all the jewels, uh, the carriages, um, the weapons. Uh, jewelry, the dresses, pretty much all the fancy stuff that the Romanov Tsars used to own back when they were the kings and queens of Russia. And it's really interesting to see uh, the kind of wealth disparity or inequality that they had back in Tsarist Russia because, I mean, the things you see in there, they're all covered in gold, in diamonds, um, pretty much like the fanciest stuff you'll ever see. It's like the crown jewels times 10, way fancier than the stuff you see um, that the French uh, aristocrats and kings and queens used to have. And the common people of Russia back then, the serfs, they pretty much were owned by lords and um, they just had to live on the land and pretty much give all their spare money to the lord who would then give it to these um, Tsars and they would spend it on all this crazy stuff. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. And then apparently um, they turned this into a museum in the Soviet times 
um, to pretty much show the people that they were working as slaves for the Tsars and that they were bad. So yeah, it was really cool, but again, you're not allowed to film in there, but pretty much it's like the fanciest stuff you'll ever see. Um, the most opulent stuff. It's, it's pretty crazy. Anyway, I'm all done here at the Kremlin. Uh, pretty cool place. Would totally recommend coming here. Um, but we'll skip to later tonight where I have something else cool that I will be going to. Alright, and here we are at the Museum of Soviet Arcade Machines, which should be pretty interesting. Mushy mushy, Jesus death. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, what's up, and welcome to day two out here in Moscow. If you see behind me, there is um, the new Moscow city. So, at the moment, um, you know, Russia's not doing too well economically, but back in the 2000s when oil was really expensive, they used all of that money to build these epic skyscrapers. And they're not like the tallest buildings in the world, but some of them are really unique. Like you got this one that sort of twists around and then this one which looks like some futuristic tower. Um, and then those two which are like different cubes placed on top of each other, but um, I think they look really cool. And uh, today, uh, I didn't do too much filming, just starting the vlog at this point in the day, but um, I visited a museum called the Patriotic War Museum, which is about how Russia um, fought Napoleon back in like 1812, and they had some really interesting stuff in there. Uh, they had the actual sled that Napoleon escaped Russia on, and also like this uh, chess set that um, is pretty much based on the war, and it must be worth millions of dollars because it was made of like crystal and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. And then um, on the way here was actually pretty awesome also. Uh, I had to get the Moscow Metro, and if you know anything about that, the Soviets built it not long after they came into power, and um, it's pretty much the only fancy thing that was allowed back in the Soviet times. They wanted the people to feel like um, the fact that they had overthrown the Tsars was a good thing, but, you know, because it was communism, they weren't really allowed to... Um, be rich or own anything that showed they were wealthy. So they pretty much turned the metros into uh, the center of wealth for the common people. And so as you see here, the metro stations are actually really beautiful, ordained with marble, gold, and like awesome paintings and stuff. And 
North Korea and other communist countries are the same. They put lots of money into their metros to make the common people feel good. But um, I'm just uh, taking some photos here of the city and uh, soon I'm going to be going to the Victory Museum which is all about World War II and I'm really excited for that. Alright guys, welcome back and um, I'm now here at the Victory Museum in Moscow. Uh, if you look behind me, there's like an epic monument up that way, a really tall spire, and then in front of that is the museum. Um, World War II is a really big issue or big deal in Russia. Most people think World War II was won by America and England, but pretty much most of the people who died in World War II were actually Russian, and Russia was almost completely invaded by Hitler, but it wasn't until uh, the Battle of Stalingrad from like 1943, around that time, um, that they managed to start to beat Hitler. And like lots of Russians died, but in the end they beat Hitler in Stalingrad and pushed him all the way back to Berlin. And they're pretty much the reason that the Nazis lost World War II. So we're about to go in here and um, learn some more cool stuff about World War II. I'm excited. And apparently they have uh, some of the vehicles, like tanks and ships, so uh, that should be pretty awesome. Yeah, the inside of this museum is very epic. Um, first you're greeted with some older items from World War II, such as some German machine guns and uniforms and things like that. And then you go into um, this very epic display um, with a sculpture called Sorrow, which shows uh, the sadness of all the mothers and wives in the USSR during World War II. And actually 27 million people died in the USSR due to World War II. And on the roof of this exhibit they have over 2 million pendants um, symbolizing the tears of the people who lost loved ones in the war, which was pretty epic. And then you go upstairs and they have um, this uh, hall with these epic projections. Uh, that was pretty awesome. And then just uh, some of the history of World War II. But yeah, I'm all finished up uh, now. As you see, the sun is starting to set, it's starting to get dark. Um, I did get some souvenirs from the museum, which we'll look at now. So first we have, uh, oh, who's that? <laughs> it's a 2019 Persian calendar. And then I also got, um, this is just some posters of like the Soviet Union space program which I thought were pretty epic. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this one, guys. That finishes the Moscow vlog. Uh, next, I'm going to be going to St. Petersburg for a couple of days. So um, yeah, thank you for watching this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.